Hello guys, Cinex is here back again with another video and today I'm going to be featuring a FFA or free for all. So credits to Denkidir. Thank you so much bro for sharing this video to us. Alright, so this is actually a free for all battle or a 1 versus 1 versus 1 versus 1 because there are 4 players in this map. Now for those who doesn't know what is actually happening, free for all is where there are like I don't know, 4, 3, many players in the map, but none of them are actually allies, and the last one to survive wins the game, alright? So, for now, um, the rules here are pretty much not yet very clear, but the thing is, the one thing's for sure, whoever manages to survive wins, alright? So here we can see Confederation. Actually, it's up to you whether you want to play Confederation or you want to play Resistance in this game. It doesn't matter. There can be three Confederations versus one Resistance or um, three Resistance, one Confederation. It, it really doesn't matter. What matters is how many players there are. So here... Uh, by the way, this is actually a beta test. So for those asking how to join the closed beta testing, I really cannot answer your question because I, I have no idea how it happens, alright? So yeah, maybe just be active in Discord and try to ask the mods there. They, they know. So okay, here we can see that he is scouting the enemy. One is actually here on top of the hill and using cyclones and, and a bunch of seraphim you can see that there is a green resistance base lying here on top of this mountain at the same time which is going to be actually attacked by another confederation which is purple on the bottom right side map here um, at the same time uh, there is also a seraphim here uh, trying to harass out so this is actually what you need to do you need to scout your enemies first you need to actually have an idea on what is happening around you what are the players what are the people around you and your base so basically a general idea when you're playing free for all is you need to abuse those defense buildings like um, defense buildings are going to be pretty useful because you're going to be attacked left and right <coughs> So, moving forward, he Danky Deer uh, develops his base, uh, hopefully trying to produce a bunch of units that can help defend at the same time attack the enemy. So here, he's just not uh, he's just not like attacking the enemy. He's just trying to poke here and there, and he scouts that the enemy is actually upgrading the headquarters. The enemy already has a bunch of Zeus, and the enemy is at headquarters level five with an upgraded. Um, X Factory, or I don't know what you call that. <laughs> yeah, X Factory. So here we can see that purple is continually harassing green, but because of that, um, purple's units are actually pretty weak because they got destroyed. That the only thing he has is a bunch of Zeus, but then green is also prepared because he has a bunch of um, gun towers, some defenses, and a bunch of units ready to um, defend his base whenever purple decides to attack. So the good thing about um, purple a uh, green here oh wait never mind they're actually on top of the hill so he also needs to defend on two sides because our danky deer may attack green or it could either be purple can attack green so you just don't want that to happen at the same time here the crates are spawning in the middle of the map hmm, maybe it may be a good idea to actually like um change the places of which um these big containers i don't know what what do you guys think about in the comment section all right so here you can see that there is also red here on the bottom left side of the map already has a leviathan uh, uh, okay so it seems like purple here has no units has nothing to defend his base against air meanwhile the enemy uh does red actually have an idea that purple is actually pretty weak i think he's no i think he's now trying to poke at the same time uh well our scouts are slowly getting damaged again and again and now we can also see another player oh never mind is this actually a six player map yep this is a one versus one versus one versus one versus one versus one so this is six players all right so i would like you guys to take note that there is actually they have no allies all right so no one here is allies okay so here, Danky Deer uh, decides to set up an army. He knows that Green has committed his defenses and his units on the other side of the map, defending against Purple. So he knows that uh, the backside is pretty weak, which is why he decides to attack it first. All right. So destroying some air fact, avia factory and the uh, prototype factory at the same time producing some stuff. 
So it's actually a good idea here, right? So on the left side, you can see that Nankidir is actually producing a bunch of uh, defenses such as rocket towers, bunker, bunkers, and anti-air defenses and stuff. Meanwhile, on the right side, which is here, um, you can see that most of all of these units are actually committed here. So that defends your base. Your defenses actually help defend your base against an attack coming from another side. Meanwhile, your units will defend an attack coming from another side or you can also be attacking from that side, all right? So generally, the idea here is just hope that your enemy doesn't attack you, all right? So yeah, it seems like purple is beginning to surrender because I think red is, red's Leviathan is actually doing a pretty good job pressuring purple. Now here we can see that wasp coming from yellow, I think, is now scouting uh, Dankidir's base. And it seems like he knows that there are no units in his base right now. And the only thing he's doing is spamming cyclones and destroying green's base. So, well, that keeps uh that lifts the pressure because he suddenly retreats his units i wonder why though oh it seems like he may be expecting an imminent attack coming from oh yellow oh no oh the other side the enemy base on the left side is already gone all right so yeah it seems like yellow is actually doing a pretty good job attacking the enemy and defending his base also so here uh Danky Deer decides to just attack oh here comes the jcp chameleons have already uh, come out and boom a solaris uh, ability is fired and i do not know what damage got damaged there unfortunately but yeah it seems like uh, just paralyzing green was a good job and man that nuke wow that nuke just this damaged his own base though <laughs> oh man and now solaris Look at that range, bro. Look at that range. So juicy. And now, uh, Seraphim doing with the missile. Oh, there seems to be a lot of porcupines inside that um, that fog. So now, uh, he's just poking with the enemy. Trying to see what's uh, what, what he has. It seems like yellow is really... Um, really well uh, really well developed. He has Solaris. He has a bunch of uh, airfields. A bunch of level 3... Um, they call this special vehicle factories and green is surrendering so green surrendered so apparently our only knowledge for now is danky deer we have yellow and red okay so we also have red so basically right now the only thing that's remaining is a resistance two resistance and one confederation so yeah uh red is doing a good job at Keeping green at bay. I think uh, green has actually surrendered in this match. Alright, so right now, the only three powerful nations are the Sian, we have the red, and of course, we have yellow. So, yeah, uh, I, wonder how, I wonder how he attacks this. Because now, green is gone, but of course, there's always that looming threat of red's JCP um, on the hill. So, anytime... He may be potentially attacked, like, look at this, alright? He may be potentially attacked by uh, Red, so now he just regroups his units and defends his base. So, yeah, here comes the Solaris. We have the Rocket Towers, a bunch of bunkers, and boom, a Solaris ability again, fired. The laser kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. So, okay. Now he's doing a good job at destroying the enemy Solaris. However, the fogs are doing a very good job keeping their distance. And there goes one of the chameleons. It seems like he doesn't, uh, he's trying to maybe, maybe yellow is actually attacking red right now. Because uh, red's army is here, that means his base is a bit defenseless. So look at that wasp ability. And boom, there goes the Solar, uh, there goes the uh, Seraphim. And. Well, you have nothing left but just to retreat, produce more units, and hope that yellow will never attack you because if it does, it can be pretty fatal. So Solaris is here, kiting out those turrets. And uh, yeah, no more poking for you. So there's a big chance that yellow is actually attacking... Oh, yep. There's a big chance that yellow is actually attacking red right now. See? See? There's a big chance that yellow is attacking red because it seems like red has retreated. And meanwhile, uh, Danky Deer takes this chance to actually uh, turn around and strike yellow from the back. So here, he manages to destroy the wasp. 
destroys a bunch of level 3 assault vehicle factories and just doing as much damage as he can while Ye Yellow's army is busy defending, uh, attacking Red. Or maybe it's retreating right now. Oh, there, here comes another JCP though. There is too much typhoons. So many typhoons though because yeah, the enemy air units can be pretty annoying especially the Leviathan. So here, Yellow finally brings in his army and Leviathan. So you just, they just retreat like, just retreat. Uh, you don't need to really force an attack because this may leave you pretty weak. You also need some boom. There goes a the fireworks. Effectively destroying his own Jaguars, unfortunately. But Danky Deer's units are left unscathed. Meanwhile, Red on the other hand, we still have no vision. Like, we have to scout that base at some point. And here comes uh, Yellow committing to attacking Danky Deer. So, bam! Here comes a rocket barrage and here comes another uh, nuke and stuff so bam three chameleons the, the chameleons actually ran out of energy and now the army is exposed and that's it i'm i'm just curious why i see no shield in this army though but he decides to retreat um no need to commit extra resources on those stuff because there's a big chance yep there's a very big chance that red could potentially be attacking yellow again you never know that's the beauty of FFA. It's because um, you can get attacked here and there. <laughs> and don't forget that Green is still in the in the game. But maybe he surrendered or left the uh, left the game. So, bam! There goes Solaris, maximizing the range. Uh, at the same time, destroying that mole because that mole does a pretty good job at repairing the units even while in battle. And bam! Here comes another Leviathan. Uh, maybe look out, watch out for a nuke. But it seems like red though like red has been a bit passive lately because you can you will know because if yellow's army is in this area that means that red is not attacking yellow unless yellow has a bunch of defenses built up on the other side of the base and he, here we see a nuke bam successfully damages most of the units uh barely scratched the solaris though and a cyclone moving uh, trying to kite because uh, you need vision despite the fact that Solaris may have a uh, very effective range very effective long range it still needs vision in order to be very effective so regroups makes new units um, at the same time Solaris here uh, scouting at the same time kiting the enemy but it seems like the enemy is slowly destroying uh, things here and there so here you can see that yellow is trying to do a little bit of sneaky attack or I wonder what he's doing though. It's just a Jaguar, a Porcupine, and Solar uh, Leviathan. And it seems like Leviathan is gonna get destroyed because of that. So now Solaris is just annoying Yellow. Uh, attacking him from the other side. Meanwhile, Red. Red has no activity until now though. So I think Yellow uh, actually managed to kill Red. Or damaged his factory enough to paralyze Red. So just to be sure... Oh, a headquarters is rebuilt. Wait, is has green actually rebuilt? Ooh, interesting. All right. So, oh, red has another Solaris. Oh, uh, sorry, Leviathan. Oh, so red is actually pretty much very alive. So it seems like this JCP belongs to red. He retreats, and well, unlucky for yellow because it seems like he got caught in the middle. <laughs> oh, so green is actually sneakily trying to rebuild, but. I think uh, Danky Deer is going to stop that from happening, destroy so much of stuff, and bam, there goes uh, green, unfortunately. So red is actually pretty much still in the game. We see a space strike being developed. Of course, expect this in the very late game, guys. When, uh, uh, when things go very late and people are very hard to attack, of course, there's always going to be a super weapon being built, so you need to watch out for that. Imagine five players building nuclears and space strikes, man. The map is gonna get wrecked. So, a cyclone that is going to scout. Oh, look at that. So, red is attacking yellow, but yellow is damaged because he spent all his forces attacking Danky Deer. And now, because of that, he has. What is he doing? Why, Why is he attacking red's forces? Okay, that may be a smart move. Uh, very interesting choice and he takes a screenshot <laughs> okay so uh, oh that may be for the thumbnail alright alright <laughs> so 
then uh, the same time he actually sneakily attacks bam the space strikes manages to wipe out the army of red and there goes red so it seems like yellow is going to be very paralyzed now so uh, since red's army is gone it seems like Dankidir is going to be attacking Red first before he attacks Yellow because he knows that Yellow is paralyzed. And Red is actually doing a pretty good job at defending his base. However, this Solaris is very powerful with the nuke, so the Cyclones back out along with Solaris. But yeah, a bunch of Cyclones are actually harassing Yellow. At the same time, some Zeus are going to come here and finally attack the base. Alright, so destroy those buildings, destroy the factories, and then you're good to go. And here comes Red, <laughs> poor Mole, getting uh, bullied by those Cyclones. And, well, I guess that's it for Red. Uh, his units got annihilated because of that Space Strike. And since he has now, he has no units now, uh, he's going to, his base is very vulnerable. Like, all the defenses are focused on air. Maybe there is a bit of uh, gun towers, but... I don't think that's going to be a uh, pretty good though. So Dankidir is actually preparing for another space strike. I wonder where he strikes this next though. So all right, uh, Red is still pretty much alive, and bam! There, I guess this is going to be the final blow for Red. Bam! That destroyed most of the buildings and damaged Solaris pretty bad. So ah uh, sorry, Leviathan pretty bad. So now it's just finishing, like just finish him. Destroy the headquarters, uh, sorry, destroy the uh, factories, destroy the headquarters, destroy everything that Red has because now the only enemy that you have is going to be yellow and it seems like another force is going to be attacking that side over there. And yeah, a bunch of Cyclones, Seraphim and stuff, they just destroy yellow's base and I guess that's it for this game. It's a good game well played. So this is actually a... Six, uh, six player FFA. So one versus one versus one versus one versus one versus one. So yeah, guys, what do you think about this mode? Um, um, share your thoughts, share your suggestions. Uh, don't forget to comment them down below. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. That would be all. See you next is over and out.